I feel like it's been so long since I have seen your face. I gotta be strong, but the strength I have is washing away. Gotta keep on. Here I know there's mistakes are made between us two. Girl, I wanna hold you, squeeze you, tease you, cause you are my lover, darling friend. I wanna give for right now. I need better. Uh, what I'm trying to say is it's been a long time since I made a video because I've been a busy bee and have people over all the time and it's stupid. Uh, questions. Um, first question. Was she high? I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> I'm assuming no. Whoever you're referring to. Oh! You mean me! You mean me in my last... No, I don't do any drugs. I've never done drugs in my life. I'm actually, um, I'm pretty, uh, straight edge, or, uh, you know, for the, for the thing. Uh, but I really am only straight edge in terms of drugs. Uh, I really like to drink, I enjoy being drunk, and I like to have sex. The only reason I don't like drugs are I feel people who do drugs are douchebags. Because... All the, pe all the high people I've ever been around, all they talk about is how high they are. And, and that just gets really old. Like, it's fine to do drugs. It's fine if you like them. But, I mean, don't just, don't just sit around and go like, Man, I can't even tell you how high I am. And I'm just like, you're doing it. You're doing it right now. You're telling me how high you are. And they're just like, dude, this weed is the Danest cook. Dankest kush. <laughs> It's just obnoxious. Uh, so, yeah, no, I was not high in my last video. I don't know. Um, Follow-up question. Um, oh, this is the follow-up for the Charlie question, um, where they asked, I talk about all the Charlies I know of. Uh, they said that I can count Charles. So now I can count Charles. Um, well, I only know of two Charles and one Charlie. Uh, I, of course, know my grandfather, Charles. And I know of my friend Kevin's father, Charlie, but there is the one Charles, uh, and if any of you, like, are extremely religious, you know, you know of this Charles, like, um, when you get down on your knees and you pray every night or whenever you're giving money to the church, you know about this Charles, because Charles is in charge of you and me and I feel like I feel like a lot of people forget that you know a lot of people they're just like oh well you know Charles is more so just an idea you use them as a moral compass but you don't do that with Charles okay Charles Charles made God send his only son to die for our sins because Charles is in charge of all things uh, God is one level below Charles, because Charles, Charles is in charge, in charge of all things. Um, oh, this is actually a very good. Oh, come on, where are you? It's a very good scripture uh, that I have for just this thing about Charles. Um, but I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within Charles. <laughs> It's a big, beautiful world we live in, but I feel like sometimes we stop and we just forget what life's really all about. We we just get so caught up in the hustle and bustle in life, and we just don't know what we're supposed to do or who to turn to. Our closest friends have betrayed us. Our, our loved ones just are also busy doing their own thing, and you just don't know who you're supposed to turn Charles to. But I know who I turn to. I turn to Charles. And I, sing. I, I want, want, I want, want Charles, Charles in charge of me. And the question is, Charles do you want Charles in charge of you? Just take a second. Think of all the wonderful things that Charles has done for for all of us. I mean, without Charles, how would we have had the television show, Charles in Charge?